Hey guys, welcome back to another Mythic Legions review. We have the Black Knight Legion Builder for review today, so let's check them out. Here we have the front of the package. On the side we can see two pictures of the knight, one of them with his alternate head. We have no lore on this figure as it's just a generic soldier to army build with. On the back of the package we have some lore on the Mythic Legions universe. Let's get them out. All Mythic Legion figures come in a collector friendly packaging. It's easy to remove or put back together for storage later. This is a Black Knight Legion Builder. He's a generic knight in a dark glossy paint job. Legion Builders are action figures that have less detailed paint jobs and accessories and instead cost less than regular figures. This lets you buy multiples for a good price and makes them great for army building. They also make great blank slates for customizing. Legion Builders usually have no backstory to them and this is the case with the Black Knight. Let's look at some details. The Black Knight has a very glossy paint job. Absolutely no detail in the paint, but we do have some nice sculpting in the armor. On the side of the head we can see small details like the rivets that connect to the plated armor. The red plume on the helmet is nicely sculpted and really stands out. The body armor has some nice reflective sheen to it. The black paint hides a lot of the detail in the sculpting, but the reflectiveness gives it a cool shine effect. The shoulders have layers of heavy plated black armor. The back has those big peg holes that will be used for the shoulder armor. The large square hole in the back is for the new wing adapters that just went up for pre-order. We will finally get something to plug that hole. The hands have layers of plated black armor. The detail really stands out when the light reflects on that glossy paint job. The metal plated skirt in the front is sculpted with a ton of tiny details. Each detail in the armor reflects a bit more light and gives it a nice shine. On the side we can see the rest of the armored skirt. We have very large plates of armor stacked over each other with more of that glossy dark finish. The sculpting in the legs really stands out. We have very large knee guards with wings along with more layered plates of armor at the bottom. And finally we have the boots. Rivets connect the plated layers and we finish with that glossy shine. Let's check out the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, shoulders that open and rotate, an elbow that bends and rotates. We have a rotating forearm, wrists that bend and rotate, a ball jointed waist, thighs that have a great range of flexibility, the thighs also rotate, knees that bend back and rotate, and finally boots that bend and rotate. The Black Knight comes with shoulder accessories, they have pegs that attach to the back. To install the shoulder armor, you just match the peg with the socket and attach them. We also get an alternate knight head. He comes in the same glossy black paint and he has a socket in the back to attach the plume. Swapping the heads is as easy as popping off the original and placing the alternate on the peg. We get a long silver spear, nothing too unique about this weapon. We also get the generic short sword in the basic silver color. And we also have a standard great sword. And lastly, we get a red belt. Normally the belts are brown, but the Black Knight gets a special red version. You can also place the sword into the belt slot. Overall, the Black Knight had me worried about the super basic paint job. I didn't think he would stand out much at all, but after getting him into my hands and seeing how glossy the paint job is, he really grew on me a lot. As a legion builder, he's perfect for customs or just general army building. The weapons could use a little bit more love in the paint department, but for the reduced cost of legion builders, we got a decent selection. The alternate head also adds a ton of value to this figure. The glossy paint job is really shiny. It's supposed to have a basic paint job, but this figure might be the most shine I've ever seen on a mythic legion, and that makes him unique in that aspect. While the character has no lore and is just a simple legion builder, his basic paint job actually makes him very unique and he can fit a role of any bad guy on your team. Overall for the price, this figure is pretty great. We get a few accessories, a unique looking character, and a rare red colored belt. 4 Horsemen Studios is currently hard at work pumping out Mythic Legions 2.0 and it's stated to come out late summer 2018, so check them out before it's too late. Alright guys, that'll do it for me, more reviews coming up soon and you'll know where to find them.